Hey guys, you have seen in some of my videos that I have used a custom app for controlling Arduino, but I have never shown you how to make one on your own. So in this video, I will show you how to make an Android app to control an Arduino in less than 5 minutes. To make the app, we will be using MIT App Inventors, which is a visual programming environment. Go to Google and search MIT App Inventor. You will get the site. On opening the site, you will be asked to log in with your Gmail account, which I have already done. And I'm already in the previous project that I was working on. Now, let's create a new project. We will keep the name as Arduino Control. Now here, we have two things to know about. The designer part and the block part. The designer part will take care of the visual part of the app, whereas the block part will take care of the logical part. Let's get started. Firstly, we will be creating a Bluetooth communication with the Arduino. To do that, we will use our Bluetooth client from the connectivity block. Then we will use a list picker from the user interface. I'm changing the alignment to center and the text to connect. Now I need a label to show the status of the Bluetooth. We will keep it as status disconnected. Now let's add two buttons for turning a LED on and off. We will use a horizontal layout to keep the two buttons side by side. Now let's rename these buttons. Now since we are done with the visual part of the app, we are jumping to the block part where we will develop how the app will work. The list picker will show the list of available Bluetooth devices and if the selected device is available, it will save the device address in the element. Once pinging has been done, it will call the selected Bluetooth device from the list picker selection. Now, once the Bluetooth communication has been established, we need to send data from the app to the Arduino. We will be using the buttons for this. When we press the button 1, we will send L to the Arduino. And when we press the button 2, we will send K to the Arduino. The Arduino will process the code and respond to it. Now our app is complete, so we would just go to connect and click AI companion. Now we need to use this code in our app. You can get the app on Google Play just by searching MIT A2 companion and after installing we need to just enter the QR code and connect it with the code. Now we write a simple code to check the serial monitor. Whenever we get letter L or K, it will turn on the LED and turn off the LED respectively. And this code can be modified to also control a robot. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends. I upload video every Sunday. So see you next Sunday.